Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm back. We're going to continue working on, um, shoot, Christmas greetings. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, so let's see, what page are we at? We're on page... Page six. Sorry, I had to really think that through. Um, I've had so many stops and starts. So um, we're going to use this pattern, uh, which comes from the collection pack or the scrapbook pack. And then I'm going to show you what I've done. I just put it here temporarily, although it feels very permanent. There we go. Let me get my ruler out. I did some of this while I was away from the camera. So, so on either side, left and right, you're going to pull in about a th three quarters of an inch and draw a line down. And then from the top down, I think it's one inch, yeah, so one inch from the top down. So you've got an inch clearance here, three quarters on each side, and we're going to have two waterfalls. And these waterfalls are sized to um, uh, enhance these little cut aparts, and they are three and seven eighths. by four and three eighths. So it's three and seven eighths by four and three eighths. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do eight of those. We're gonna have four in this row and four in this row. Now let me get these in order real quick and it should go very quickly. So we're gonna line the top one up here. And I'm using two packs of everything. That's why I've got duplicates. It looks like that's, yeah, that's the sequence. So I'm going to line my first one up in this corner right here. Well, actually, first I'm going to glue this down. I just realized it was still floating around. Oh. Looks like my glue is kind of leaking. As usual, I'm using a Graphic 45, I'm sorry, um, powder puff for the ink around the edges. And I am currently using Art Glitter Glue. Which is time to stock up if you haven't thought about it. Um, I think Julie put something out reminding everybody it's starting to cool, it's going to cool off in the mid and eastern state so you need to think about that so you don't run out of your favorite glue during the cold months. Okay, just want to double check the orientation and we are all good. to start with the one I already pulled out. Again, you're going to come down one inch, draw a line, come in three quarters of an inch, draw a line, and then you're going to marry the corner of this flap right up there. Okay, and that should give us a nice, beautiful, straight waterfall. Okay, this is going to be the next one. Yeah. And just line that up. And here's our fourth one. Okay. 
okay that all looks good so we're going to repeat that process and that's why i built in a corner on this side so there is going to be naturally a space in between and then on the bottom one we're going to put a mechanism that reaches up and holds everything in place Takes a second to get the first one in, the rest you just line up, you know, with the previous installation. I think this is the next. Yep. So there we go. So our two waterfalls, nice, beautiful, straight lines. Okay, now I need a minute and I am going to, oh, hi, this one came down quite a bit lower. <laughs> How about that? Um, I'm going to find um, a clasp that can go on top and I'll be right back. I think I just remembered why that happened, but no big deal. It, I think one of the flanges was not quite uh, half inch. So that's why one's a little bit shorter, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, go to your goodie bag, your chipboards, and pick out one present and one ornament, and we're going to stack these. And I'm trying to decide, yeah, in the back. So I'm going to stack like that and like this. So the president, presidents, the presents are going to come around the front. We're going to stack them like so. I'm going to let those dry for a few minutes. These are going to become the clasps that hold everything closed. Okay, and I'm going to attach a piece of ribbon to them and it's going to get put down here and then we're going to put one more mat on top of it. Hopefully that'll all make sense in just a minute. So from the pile of the cut aparts, I'm going to pick a couple more cut aparts. There we go. So these, this will be matted and then the ribbon that I'm going to use is going to get tucked right underneath that. So we're going to do that like so. And then we're going to attach the ribbon to these two cut aparts and the magnet that's going to hold everything together is going to be behind the ornament chipboard. Okay. So I need two. Let's let these dry. So we're going to go ahead and mat these two. They're already inked. They don't need a hinge. They just need to be matted. They're going to get laid down right here. And then we'll tuck something under it. Okay. So what did I say that was? It was three, three and seven eighths. Is that right? Let's check. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. So it'll be the same width. Um, yeah, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths because we're going to leave the flange off. Three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And you'll need two, one for the left, one for the right.
I'm just checking to see if I inked it. I have. This weather, this in, and it's so dry. Got a lot of fire right up north from us, which is kind of a bummer. Now I'm going to go find some ribbon real quick. And I don't know what color I'm going to use. We'll just, I'm just getting something out of my stash. we got lots of colors to look at. You know, we've got blues, we've got turquoise, red, cream. So I think I'm going to go with, i got to think about that for a second. You know what, I think I'm going to do um, a burlap. Let me see if there's something else that I'm better. Nope, I like the burlap. Okay. So hopefully by now our presents are starting to firm up. So this is just some, some burlap that I'm going to use. So maybe a 3 8 inch wide, half inch wide ribbon. And you've got lots of choices. Even a gold would look good here especially a rope. The only reason I don't like to use round is it's a little harder to get it to adhere to the back of something like this. So we need it to go basically from here. I got that wrong from about here to there. So that's about the right length. So I'll cut two of those. And they happen to be seven inches. And I might have to trim it, but I'd rather have a little too much and then come back and trim it down. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, I'm going to lay it in, figure out where I want it. I want it so that when it reaches up and over, it's about centered. Okay, that looks about right. Now you can glue this or you can use tape. I'm going to use tape. I think it's going to actually hold better. Or you can do both, tape and. So I'm going to use some three-eighths. Will that, is that thin enough? I'm not sure. So the tape is just going to go on the back of the chipboard like so. Yep, and that looks pretty straight. I'm looking for my pick tool that was way over there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check that one more time. That looks pretty darn good. Burnish it. If you want to add a layer of glue, you can right now. And then I'm just going to trim this, I think, at an angle. See how I like it. There we go. So now I'm going to attach a magnet. I think that magnet needs to be about right there. Hmm. Two. 
check that one more time. Yeah, right about the center. Okay. Now I'm going to add the second magnet. There we go. Let's make sure it still reaches. Yes, it does. So we're going to put some double tape on that. I'm going to put some double tape on top. It's not wanting to grab because of the, um, the burlap ribbon. that. Okay. Now we'll do the other side. I'm going to come back and cover the back of this. I think, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some designer paper under it. I'll just use this for contrast. I'm going to trace around it and then that's going to go on top of it so that you don't see the white or the magnet. Hopefully that makes sense. Since I now know that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and trace this side out right now. And I kind of like this, so that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it over and then trace it. A little bit slippery. Okay, I'm supposed to cut that out real quick. You don't have to worry about precision because once you get it glued to the back, you can come back and uh, trim it down further with your scissors or an X-Acto knife. Hopefully that makes sense. So everything I'm doing right now, you're going to repeat for this side. Okay, so this will get glued on just like that after we add our magnet and everything else. And then if we have anything hanging off, we'll come back around with our scissors and trim it. Okay, so let's get our second piece of burlap tape. Not tape, I'm sorry, ribbon. I'm going to be generous in the middle because that's going to be holding down the um, tape. You can mark the middle if you want. I'm just eyeballing it. There we go. 
That looks pretty good. I'm going to go through and clean up my pencil lines after I'm finished. Okay, so. So I'm going to run my tape line right about there. Check that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and close this so they're not bouncing around. Okay. Let's see. go. Now we're going to add a magnet up here. Somewhere. And a magnet back here. It's about dead center. some adhesive on that. straighten that out just a little bit. got a little bit of a hump to get over with the ribbon and the magnet. So you probably have to hold it in place for a few minutes until it grabs and then work over on the next side. So it's going to have a little bit of a bubble. That looks much better than this. <laughs> I'm hold that together. It doesn't want to dry on that ribbon, so I'll just hold it for a second, and then we're going to pull this paper in and trace this. quick as I can. Okay. 
Now, if you don't have ribbon or you don't want to use ribbon, the other thing you can do here is just a, a one by five inch strip. Put a hinge here and then just have it reach up and over. I just kind of like the idea of using the um, chipboard, which you could still do on paper. You just add the chipboard to the top of your one by five strip or four, whatever it takes. Maybe. didn't do a very good job of tracing so in this one I'm going to finalize the trim after we glue it down oh yeah <laughs> I'm like why is that that's because the ribbon was right there looks like it pretty much goes straight so okay there we go I'm gonna add some glue get this all stuck down Now the last thing we're going to do is cut out um, the backs of each one of these flaps. take a break and you can see these aren't exact and part of the reason is this ornament's bigger than this one so they're not going to match exactly and I can see I still got some trimming so you can either go around with your bone folder and fold it in which fold it and burnish it and then ink it or go with your um, exacto knife and trim it so there's a burnished edge and then you saw, you know, what I was doing with um, my scissors trimming it. But it's pretty tight. So I would recommend either an X-Acto knife or to fold it up, burnish it, and then just um, ink it. And ink hides a multitude of scents. It looks like I need to get a drop. Of, no, actually what I just need to do is hold it. There's glue. So I'm going to hold that for a second. I'm going to flip through my papers and figure out what we're going to do on the B side find some sheets that are wide enough and um, because I did use two packs I still have some of these so let's see one two three four five I have five five of those left so I might use a couple of sorry six I think I might use those up and then uh, come back to my scrap pile and find coordinating ones I like this one I think I used it somewhere else already though. Okay, so if we use these, I just want them to match. 
So I'll do that. We'll skip that one and we'll do this one, which will be these two. And then these two I'll put back into my pile. The ones that remain, I'm just going to pick out of my scraps. So I'm going to try to use patterns that are in this, which I think is pretty much everything. So it looks like I can get one out of this. So I'm just checking to see if I've got some more of that. So I don't have to cut through a large piece. I think I don't have to. Could do two of those. Okay, so this should be. So this was three and seven eighths. So this has the the um, paper has to be just a little bit smaller. Let me get my ribbon out of the way. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. So that'll go there. Okay, these are already trimmed. Okay, let's see. Can I get three and three quarters too? Maybe. Just barely. Okay, let's glue them down. Insert goes to the other page. Clear up my scraps real quick. Not really scraps, just cut pieces. Is a better way to put it. Okay. collection would make pretty cards. Oh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what you're working on and um, if you're doing Christmas albums this year. We've seen a pretty big decline in sales for Christmas collections. I just thought that was kind of interesting. And I thought, well, maybe it's just because people are traveling they don't have time. Anyway, I forgot. I gotta ink these, the ones I just cut. Think there's really a direction? I guess it goes this way. I don't do waterfalls that much, but they, they're nice. They hold a lot of photos. Let's see, what direction did I set this eye <laughs> that this goes in? Oh, this one goes over here. So Okay, what did I do wrong? I'm not sure. Two, 
Okay. Oops, it got a little heavy on the glue there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull this powder back in. What am I stuck on? Oh, it's a little bit too long, I guess. There we go. There's our waterfalls. I'm going to burnish everything real quick. Now that we've got both sides covered. <clears throat> That's what's wrong. I, I needed to trim this. This is too big. Too long. Wait for that to dry and then I'll burnish it. And then they kind of are curving, so I'm just trying to train them back around. So I do that to both. You can see both are doing that. That's just the nature of the glue pulling on the paper as it dries. You can reshape it. Okay, we'll let this dry a little bit. And then I'm going to trim it down to fit here. And that's it for page six. I'll be back soon with page seven.